This video demonstrates a method for a physically based simulation of cloud dynamics on graphics hardware. We have implemented a stable cloud simulation based on partial differential equations that model fluid flow, thermodynamics, and water condensation and evaporation. We use fragment programs and floating point textures to implement the discrete form of the equations on the GPU. We demonstrate the features of our hardware cloud simulation first in two dimensions, running with a simulation time step of several seconds to demonstrate the dynamics of the clouds. We begin the simulation of cloud formation with water vapor input along the ground boundary. Here we are indicating the water vapor content of the air in green. As the water vapor rises, it cools, increasing the relative humidity of the air until it reaches 100%. Once the saturation point is reached, condensation begins, which yields the microscopic condensed cloud water particles that we see as clouds in the sky. Condensation increases the drag on the air, causing it to slow its ascent, thus creating a natural limit on the vertical extent of a cloud layer. The formation and dynamic evolution of clouds is affected by a number of environmental parameters, such as atmospheric pressure, relative humidity, and wind. In our simulation, the user can modify these physical parameters, as well as some non-physical ones, to control the appearance of the clouds. Changing the atmospheric pressure changes the altitude at which clouds will form. Condensation occurs more readily under low pressure conditions, so a lower pressure at sea level means clouds will form lower in the sky. Wind has the effect of moving clouds laterally. In the simulation, we create wind by applying Neumann inflow boundary conditions on the left and right sides, with magnitude set to the desired wind speed. Water vapor is what feeds clouds, so we can increase the cloudiness by increasing the amount of water vapor that we inject into the simulation via the boundary condition on the ground. The user can control the amount of turbulence by changing the vorticity confinement term. Vorticity confinement is a numerical technique used to counteract the smoothing and dissipation introduced by imprecision inherent in the numerical simulation. Finally, the user can interact directly with the clouds by injecting velocity into the simulation using the mouse. Extending our 2D simulation to 3D on the GPU requires an efficient method for updating volumetric data. Previous methods stored the volumetric data in 3D textures and updated the data slice by slice. This requires either a slow context switch or a texture copy for each slice update. To avoid this, we tile the volume slices onto a single 2D texture. This allows us to perform a complete 3D simulation step in one rendering pass. Though the total amount of data processed is the same as with the slice by slice method, Avoiding extra rendering and copy passes leads to a significant savings on current hardware. In order to incorporate dynamically simulated 3D clouds into existing 3D applications, the per-frame simulation cost must be small enough that it does not interfere with the application. Here we see the results when the simulation is simply updated every frame. We have implemented a method for amortizing the simulation cost over multiple frames, allowing the application to budget time for the simulation each frame. This technique drastically improves interactivity. Direct rendering of the simulation results each frame is expensive because of the high cost of sliced volume rendering. To reduce the per frame cost, we use dynamically updated imposters. We have also implemented an efficient volumetric cloud illumination algorithm which accounts for self-shadowing and multiple forward light scattering. We use hardware blending to compute the scattering and store the results in a 3D texture. This way, illuminated cloud volumes can be rendered using common multi-texturing. We have presented a method which combines efficient simulation running on the GPU with techniques for amortizing simulation and rendering costs. Together, these techniques enable realistic, real-time simulation of clouds in interactive applications.